What's up, Mortgage Coach Dave Savage? Today, I am interviewing Seth O'Byrne. What's up, Seth? Hey, how's it going? Going good, buddy. Well, I'll tell you, everybody, this will not be the last time I interview Seth. He is a $100 million real estate agent in San Diego. Is that, did I get that right? That's right. So congrats on your success. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm interviewing Seth because he's just a master. I mean, he's, he's among the elite in the real estate space at building a personal brand. He's, he's also the chief marketing officer for American Dream, the American Dream Show, which I think you guys are in like 28 cities now. Yeah, yeah. By the end of next month, we'll be in 29 officially. So Craig, the CEO, is very eager to start talking about 29, but we've been holding off until we finally finally launch. But yeah, we'll be in 29 cities by the end of next month, which is really exciting. Yeah, and I've, I've interviewed Craig selling, dating back to when he was a $100 million loan officer using Mortgage Coach to, you know, today he's been launching that. And, you know, a lot of those cities are Mortgage Coach loan officers. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan. You know, Seth, what I wanted to do today is I want to help loan officers with personal branding. You know, I mean, if you're a referral-based local loan officer or realtor, I mean, you need to build a personal brand, right? Yeah, of course. It's incredibly important. You know, there's a lot of great examples of lenders who have done it. I think that there is a litany, there's a, a tremendous amount of examples of how real estate agents have done it. But I think mortgage brokers... Uh, have been pretty good at playing the relational business and haven't really dove in, div in, di dove in, <laughs> dived into um, personal branding. And I think that uh, that's a mistake. And I think le leading into the future, that's going to be a necessity, just like it has been for a decade or so with real estate agents as well. Yeah, no doubt. And we have, you know, examples like Dan Keller out of Seattle, which by the way, Dan launched American Dream in Seattle. I'm going to put a link down below. Um, he, he killed it by the way, the interview I did, I think it was the day after he went live with you guys. Yeah. He got some ridiculous number of likes. He, you know, got like eight meetings with realtors. So, you know, a thing I want everybody to connect the dots on is that social media is just not busyness anymore. I mean, when it first came out, maybe it was busyness and not business today. It's business, you know, the yeah. best, best loan officers in America do that. So let's, it's because this is the first time I've interviewed you, tell us a little bit about your backstory and how, how you're creating social brand for yourself. Yeah. A little bit about yourself. Yeah. So, so brand is my life, right? So when I think about what I spend my money on, I, I actually don't spend a lot of money on getting my content out there. I spend money on creating messaging around my brand and then I get it out there to a defined small organic audience. Um, I think I probably outspend a lot of my competitors on content creation five, six, seven times to one. But um, as far as getting the content out there, I, 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 most people, in fact, I was just speaking yesterday. I, I was in, in, uh, in, uh, in the Bay Area, Bay Area speaking on brand and luxury marketing and brand building for um, Venture Sotheby's uh, International Realty. And I talked about the same thing. Um, you know, so my, you know, to kind of dive into why I do what I do, how I do what I do, um, is when I got going in, um, in real estate, uh, you know, I was very poor. I mean, quite frankly, I didn't have any money and I was 21 years old and I didn't know what I was doing. And my space actually came out on the market. And at the time I was single, so I was using my space for dating, but I very quickly realized that it was not only a great place to get a date, it was also a great place to find people who were looking to buy and sell houses. And it was a perfect time in history because MySpace exploded primarily in the colleges. This is pre-Facebook, by the way, and pre-Zillow and pre-all of this. And what I recognized was I started advertising primarily affordable properties on MySpace saying, hey, I'm going to be at this open house for this $300,000 house, $400,000 house. Mind you, this is the early 2000s when prices in San Diego had become unbelievably untouchable. I was purposely seeking out affordable properties, whether or not they were my listings, putting them on MySpace, getting leads and then getting clients from it, whether or not I sold them those houses. And through MySpace and Craigslist, you know, I went from my first year, you know, I did maybe like 50 million in GCI. My second year I did $250 million in GCI or $250,000 in GCI as a 22 year old guy. And um, it was in incredible. And it was because I focused on something where I wasn't competing with a clogged marketing space. There weren't a lot of other people doing it. 
then Facebook came out when I was 22 years old. I joined Facebook and I was one of the very first advertisers in real estate in all of Southern California to ever do anything with Facebook. Um, in fact, I was one of the first people in the University of San Diego to join up for Facebook using, at that time, used to be a .edu email address. Wow. So I got in early. Back then, you could only pay $5 for an ad on Facebook. And there was no paperclip. There's no CPC. You, you, you could never pay more than $5 an ad. So if you had more than a $5 budget, you had to buy a second ad or a third ad or a fourth ad. Fourth ad. And I was spending $100 a day on Facebook ads, which was 20, 20 ads. And I would put pictures of like Mr. T and it would say, I pity the fool that goes to University of San Diego and doesn't use Seth O'Byrne to buy a house. And Chuck Norris, it was like, you know, on the, you know, on the, on the, on the eighth day, I, you know, on the seventh day, Chuck Norris rested on the eighth day he called Seth to buy his beach house. Yeah. And I love that. I would just do this goofy crap, but then it became really real when we started selling, you know, 10, 20, $30 million in real estate from these dumb $5 ads. And that was really what got my start. And really from that point forward, which was my first few years in real estate, social media, uh, uh, creative writing of copy, um, storytelling, video, and really guerrilla social media marketing has always been how we've done business for now almost 16 years. That's incredible. So anybody that's a mortgage coach that wants to follow you, what would be the channels, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, obviously you're on everything, but yep. what in the order of what you think value would be to our community. So Instagram, for sure. That's our number one. That's where we put all of our time, energy and effort. Um, my Instagram handle is Seth underscore O'Burn, which is O-B-Y-R-N-E. Maybe you can put a link down there as well. Um, I can do that. But uh, yeah, so Seth O'Burn is our, 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 our Instagram. We got about 26, 27,000 followers. On average, we get about 100 to 150,000 impressions every single week on our Instagram page, um, which equates to about five or six million views a year. And um, that probably accounts about for about 50% of my referral business from other real estate agents who follow me from all over the world. Um, so it's about half of my referrals from other agents to inbound clients. And then it accounts for probably about 10% of my business direct to consumer. It's been very powerful for us for building a network of other brokers who can send us deals from Denver and LA and San Francisco. Not as successful in the direct to consumer space, but yeah, that's, that's where we put our very best content and people usually seek us out because we have a, a really specific look to our videos. Um, we actually create behind the scenes videos to show real estate agents and consumers how we do what we do. Um, so I think it's, our goal is for it to also be an educational space as well. Love that. And you know, more and more mortgage professionals, one, they need to be the leader of the realtor. So I think, by the way, mortgage coach community, forward this to your real estate agents. You just, you know, I sure, if they don't already know who Seth is, uh, this will be knowledgeable and valuable for them. And then two, they need, you, you mortgage professionals, you need to get to the buyer first so that you are more valuable to the agent. You're not just, give me another lead, give me another lead. You know, you got to get after your past customers and you got to build personal brands so you can get to the client first. Any quick consumer direct ideas that you just think loan officers should be yeah. getting after? Yeah, you know, um, what's interesting, I think, for um, an agent who speaks with home buyers every single day, in fact, I, I just got off the phone with one. Um, we're actually out here filming a brand video for an agent in American Dream right now. Um, this actually is a suit I'm wearing that's going to couple with a, uh, with a, a, a chauffeur's hat because I'm going to be the stand-in chauffeur for this funny little clip that we're going to do for one of our agents here in, in Rancho Santa Fe. Um, we're just having fun today. But um, what I, that call I got off the phone with, I was asked to refer a buyer to a lender directly. And one of the interesting things I've heard for all 16 years I've been in the business is people keep on going, well, all lenders are the same. And they go, I don't know. I, I always say, would you like my referral to my lender? And they go, yeah, I don't care who I work with. It doesn't matter to me. Because really interest rates and loan programs actually aren't interesting to real estate agents or consumers. Like they're, they're just not a gripping enough story. They're really important in how we do business, but how you do business is not how you get business. Right. And, and I think a lot of lenders, you know, will bring their rate sheets out and kind of talk programs. And there's probably going to be a specific demo consumer direct that will respond to that. 
Um, but by and large, people respond to something that's memorable, that's brand building. And what I found, there's a guy here, Sean Cahan, who in San Diego did this thing called Mortgage Geek. And he wears these goofy little glasses. And he has a scotch tape that goes in between his glasses. So he kind of looks like a geek. And he made a really kitsch video series about him being the mortgage geek. And he kind of pokes fun at himself and makes something kind of goofy and fun and, and cool about it. And what's interesting about it is, you, we could argue until we're blue in the face about whether or not it's an effective marketing campaign. The reality is, is his name is now attached to a mini brand. And he could have been the surfer mortgage lender. He could have been the mortgage geek. He could have been anything. But the one thing he is, is people know him as something different than every other lender in San Diego County. And I think if you're going to try to do what agents do, which is not go B2B, but go direct to consumer, you have to have a brand that has high recall. And I think using Facebook, you've just got to pick a lane and run with it. You know, we've got agents out here that only focus on, I am a golf real estate agent and they make millions of dollars in real estate commissions direct to consumer. You know, mine is, I sell to the University of San Diego and I'm a guy who focuses on marketing and all of my business pours into my, into my business because I have something I'm specific to, but my commission rates and their commission rates, they're all the same rates, right? Um, rates are a very tiny reason why anybody uses any business. And I think picking a um, psychographic or, um, or lifestyle focus around your personal mortgage business would give you such a leg up on your competitors because agents and consumers would have a very easy to recall reason to remember you. I love that. That's fantastic advice. I mean, mortgage coach community, and we're going to do it all year long. You need to prospect. You need to deliver advice, like not rates and fees, but advice. Give every family a total cost analysis. And you need to build a personal brand. And, yeah. and maybe, maybe not in that order. You know, if you're already a great advisor, and you don't have a great personal brand, and that's number one. Of course, if you're not prospecting, you know, and you don't have a constant flow of leads, number one. So, so Seth, let's wrap this up because sure. it's going to be an ongoing conversation. First of all, Mortgage Coach Community, I'm going to be interviewing Seth again. So if you have a question, post it below. If you're getting value, give us a like, share it with your friends. Let's talk American Dream because I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan and I want mortgage coach loan officers, you know, to be, you know, the local host. You know, we've got Kelly Zitlow. We've, you know, I think we've got over 10 mortgage coach top loan officers that you guys hear me interview that are, that are hosts. You guys have a very, like a, a specific brand. Describe yeah. the brand and the content because one, I want people to know about it. And two, yeah. I think it will give people ideas on how they need to, think about their brands. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the American dream um, is a show that focuses on from a consumer perspective, it focuses on really content rich video content that then ends up on Amazon, Apple and Roku through the American dream app. And then in uh, many cities, including New York city and Miami and Orlando uh, and Los Angeles and Orange County ends up on CBS. It airs on Sunday. Um, and through all these affiliates, the content that we focus on is really one of two things. One is the lifestyle around the community that these real estate agents and mortgage brokers have committed their businesses to. And the second is the real estate that we have the opportunity to sell and, and loan on. And, you know, what the American dream was built on the backs of was HGTV. They paved a way to make real estate and, and the pursuit of real estate uh, uh, entertainment in and of itself. But what we recognize is that we can continue to entertain people. We can continue to keep the conversation going. And we like, it all goes back to brand recall. Um, in every city that we're in, there are between eight to 12 realtors. In most cities, there's on average 10 real estate brokers. They're the top 1% of the agents in that city that the American dream then picks and chooses to be the voice for Austin, for Atlanta, for Seattle, for San Diego. And um, then there's one mortgage professional who ends up essentially being the anchor. Uh, many times they become the host of the shows. Um, if the show works, that it, that particular show works, that it has a host. In addition to that, um, they end up being essentially the cheerleader of the show. And those 10 brokers who in most of our cities account for 200, 200 million to a billion dollars in sales in that city, that, that centerpiece mortgage officer ends up being 
really like the gatekeeper and the center point for the entire show. So it's, it's enormous for the mortgage professional because the mortgage professional is able to double, triple, quadruple their business if they keep their head down and stick with it um, from a agent to lender perspective. But there's all these consumer direct things that are going on that are really, really exciting. And when I was brought on as the CMO of the company and the executive producer of the show, what I really focused my energy on was making the national show and mortgage professionals and agents in these cities now have the opportunity to create national content that airs in all 29 cities as well. So that's a new fresh thing going on in 2019. For, so for all our new cities, my main job is to educate people about not only becoming well-known locally, but for mortgage professionals and agents who want inbound leads and want national exposure to build their company, there's now a national component to the show that um, it, it, it just, it's so cool. It's so cool. We get 8 million views of the show every single week. It's amazing. It's, yeah, it's, it's incredible. And by the way, if you're a mortgage coach, loan officer, I mean, you really need to, this is not for new LOs. This is for top producers that are killing it. And you know, and you connect with other top producers in the real, real estate agents. And you want to you wanna be the digital mayor of the city. This is awesome. And by the way, I'm trying to make it so that as many of those people are mortgage coach loan officers as possible. So I've got a lot of pull with Craig. If yep. you do want to be part of that, you can email me, Dave at Mortgage Coach. Um, I do recommend you follow Seth on all of his channels. Follow American Dream on all his channels. Let me know what questions I should ask Seth next time I interview him down below. And, and Seth, I know you got to get to a shoot. Yep. Uh, really appreciate you doing this. Um, any last words of wisdom for the community? Uh, uh, you know, uh, two, 2019, I think with 2019 for both real estate agents and lenders, we are fighting a very similar fight. Uh, we're going to have more and more competition from people that are going to try to do less for less. And I think the only way we can do that is if we, we can compete against these, you know, the Zillows for realtors and the loan, you know, the, 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 these online loan companies for, for mortgage professionals is by providing obvious value and by clearly differentiating ourselves. I think things like American Dream um, and creating daily and monthly video content um, and actually picking a lane and what your brand means um, is going to be not an option in 2019. I think it's gonna be a necessity if you wanna survive a changing market. I, 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 it's, it was fun to do in the last five or six years. Right now, it's life or death. Well, by the way, you said a lot of super smart things I think I'm even going to write an article on this, but did you hear that? There's going to be a lot of people that want to do less for less. You need to pick a lane, be clear on your why and your brand, and you need to deliver obvious value. And part of that is creating content daily, weekly. And, and part of that daily content is a total cost analysis with Mortgage Coach for every family you serve. Seth, my man, I appreciate you, brother. Thank Remember, you. Yeah, remember everybody, if you got value, give it a like, share it with your mortgage friends, share it with your team. Take care, y'all. Thank you, brother. Take care.